Your number is 69. Okay, I'd like to finish the um, very, very important Koivitz uh, Maimar and Rebbe Hanan Wasserman that we began. Um, and show you Al Pizet, what I think is an important uh, diuk in the uh, Rambam. And then we'll get back to Nefesh Achayim. This is all very, I, I wish so much everybody had a uh, Koivitz Maimar, it would be so much easier to follow along, but you don't. Um, the story so far is the, um, just very briefly, that the Rebbe Hanan Wasserman, who was the, um, was by the way, just such a, a not just an important London, but such a, like a model of Rosh Hashiva, in my opinion, the ultimate Rosh Hashiva is in terms of, of teaching people how to learn, and he went to, went to Brisk, and he went by the Chavetz Chaim, and he had that perfect combination of the two, and uh, you know, everybody knows, just to give it a bit of a wreck, everybody knows how he was in the United States, and his, in Branovich, his yeshiva, um, went into a grave danger with the Nazis, and uh, everybody told him, okay, well, you're in America, Baruch Hashem, it was a God Ador, you're in America, stay in America. He says, no, no, I have to be with my Talmidim. And uh, he actually walked back into uh, not just the death of all his Talmidim, but his own death, uh, famously, and he knew what he was walking into. It was just, you know, so he brings the Masil um, Shisharim, and the Masil Shisharim, let me just remind you, says that um, the fact that we can do tshuva is a huge chesed from Hashem, because how is it possible that you can do something and then somehow um, repent or regret in your mind and undo what you did? Obviously, if you kill somebody and then you regret it, you can't make a tzchiyas hamesim. If, uh, if you, even if you insult somebody and you regret it, it's very, very uh, difficult to... Um, I was reading yesterday, by the way, in a uh, um, psychology sort of a book. They're saying that um, if you ask somebody forgiveness, if you hurt somebody and you ask them forgiveness and they forgive you, that um, scientific, scientific analysis says that it takes a, a little, at least six months for the subconscious to process the forgiveness process and actually forgive a person. I don't know how you prove it, but um, it would change. It means that you know, like it, um, we shouldn't start this business on Rosh Chodesh Elul. <laughs> you can't start working already at Pesach. You know, to, to, to start. Uh, to the study work. Huh? Depends how standard the subjects of the study work. I don't know, okay, but I'm just saying, Halay Dover, who it's not what I, I think the point of it is uh, that you ask somebody for easy. forgiveness and they say, yes, I forgive you. It's not easy. So it's a local cash right? And, uh, I mean, there's a difference between the things to do with Ben Adam and Chavero. I'm talking about Ben Adam and Chavero. I'm saying, like, it's easier, easier, in a sense, with Ben Adam and Machem because. He's quick. Yeah. yeah. No subconscious there. Well, there's no other, <laughs> uh, there's no human being, another human being. In, in right, Mark. but. but um, the point is, you have to do tshuva for um, you have to do tshuva for hurting another person too. So, the, but the, the the you know, it's important to know that when you if, if you if you hurt somebody else, if you embarrass somebody in public, so Chazal um, say it's like you killed them. I mentioned on Shabbos, you know, uh, you know, he turns white, he stands there, he's dumbfounded, his his heart beats different, he's like dead, you know. <laughs> you embarrass somebody in public. It's a big thing. People do it a lot. I mean, it's, it's hard. It's hard. To, it's it's easy to stop yourself from killing people. I think, but it's it's very difficult to to stop stop people stop people from doing that. In any case, um, the the um, the chesed says the Masil Sharm is that even though uh, here's the Lamdushu words, even though Charata is not mevatel hamaiset, uh, or to use his language over here, Charata eno oikeres as hamaisa. Charata never undoes hamaisa. Nevertheless, when it comes to ben alulamakum, as you say, when it comes to tshuva, so Charata is oikeres as hamaisa. That's a special din. That's a special chidush, a special chesed, a special matana that Hashem gives us with tshuva. But you see that um, that otherwise, what do you see from this Mizrachi You see from the Ramchal a lomdeshivart that that. 
that charata is not oiker amaisa, that regretting something does not undo amaisa. So Rabbi Hanan asks Akasha, Im Kain, how could there be a halacha of toyala rishonis? Toyala rishonis, which is a Gemara, and the Ramah brings la halacha. Toyala rishonis means that if a person does a wonderful thing, spends his whole life doing wonderful things, is a great philanthropist, uh, saves people's lives, whatever, uh, works in Hatzalah, does whatever he does which is wonderful, and then Basov Yamov, he says, that was stupid, I shouldn't have done it, I wasted my time, I could have enriched myself in this time, whatever, whatever his thinking is, look at me now. Um, so um, that's that, then you've undone everything that you've ever done good before. Toal Arishon is a very strong din of Toal Arishon, that one should never, even if you want to stop doing something because you see it's not for you, um, never regret it. Never, never regret doing a mitzvah. If you spent a long time, a lot of time davening nets, and then it hurts your health, God forbid, getting up so early, don't regret it. Just stop doing it if you have to stop doing it. But don't regret it. Never regret it. Because toa ala rishonos, if you toa, like you, harota, you, you, you wonder, did I do this even one? I think toa means even to wonder, no? Like, am I, am I, did I do this if you question it even? So then, then you can lose your schar. So Rabbi Hanan asks, so you see, that charata on the good thing is oiker as hamaisa. You see, the charata undoes the maisa. And you can't say this is a special chesed of, of, of tshuva because what's the chesed here? This is, this is working to our detriment. What's the mechanics of it? In other words, like if you're, let's say you have charata, only that you should have spent your time doing something else that's l'shem shemaim. So there's no there's no departure from like I want to do the ruts on Hashem, but I think something else. That's an excellent been... question. That's an excellent <clears throat> question. I, I I don't know the answer, but you have to be very careful. You say, if David's asking, let's say um, I, I spend my whole life doing chesed, and then the other side, well, I should have sat and learned in that time. So you're saying, right? So uh, what what does God do with that? So now if He undoes the chesed and you're still in Amar, it's like you lose at all levels, right? So uh, probably could die to be machmir. <laughs> Not regret. I'm glad I did what I did, but I I, I wish I would have learned. That's, that's in the Rosh Hashanah Sunday, they, it, it's about like what you say, the Shem Shemayim or whatever. Like it, it's still a Shem Shemayim. It's not you're not like the whole Yavus by saying that or saying that I shouldn't be Isaac in in Avodas Hashem. If, if okay. Okay. So maybe I think I think maybe we'll get some clarity on this. But that's your frame. You framed that very well. That's that's very good. Yeah. Where, where are you in the safe? You have a cover of my mark, page uh, Tov Gimel. So I'm not. Oh. So he brings the answer of the Chavetz Chaim, which I, I went to into at length, and I don't want to do it right again now because that would be a repetition. But uh, he, the, his point is that the Chavetz Chaim is the Chavetz Chaim, his Rebbe, our Rebbe, but um, he doesn't, it doesn't fit into the language of, his, that answer doesn't fit into the language of the Sharp. So here's what Rebbe Haman says, and this is where we left it. Venira, it seems to me, be or zed, that the way to understand this is the fi ma shikasu baal masil sisharim ba'atzmai. Who is the masil sisharim? Ramchal. As the masil sisharim says himself, the sifrai derech Hashem. I forgot to bring it. Okay. The sifrai derech Hashem. I didn't forget to bring it. Thank you. Doing well. Um, and here we're going to have to look inside of this too, Dara. And this is what he says. Perak Ravi. Mizel Shaina. Klal Hamitzvahs. Klal Hamitzvahs. Here's a rule with mitzvahs ha'esin v'halavin, be they positive mitzvahs or negative mitzvahs. Kol echod mehen, mechuvan, el tachlis, haknois ve'odom, ve'had simboi echod mi madregois ha'maila ha'mitis. Translation. That Hashem gave us 613 mitzvahs. Positive mitzvahs, negative mitzvahs. We put on tefillin, we keep Shabbos, we don't do malach on Shabbos. Um, each one of them is mechuvan, you know, like the Arizal says, the Ramchal also says in a different place, that, uh, that the, the Tariag mitzvahs are actually mechuvan like to our body, Ramachi Varam Shasagidin. So each one of them creates a certain um, health within the person. I don't mean physical health, but um, a sense of, of, of well being, strength, kinyan, um, spirituality, 
greatness. So when we put on tefillin in the morning, it makes us into better people. So understand this, not just that we are, okay, I listen to, I listen to God, get a point. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm a different person after I put, put on tefillin than I was before I put on tefillin. I'm, I'm a different person before I ate treif than I am after I ate treif, chas v'shal. Different person. One is creating aura within the person, to use the wash of the Ramchal. One's creating choshech within the person. Person who does only aver is no mitzvahs. He's a person who has choshech within them. You're choshech. You're talking who, about the neshama or the guf? I'm talking about everything. I don't know what I'm talking about. But he's, <laughs> Hak nois ba'adam. I read you the language. A kinyan in the person, v'hatsim by a empowerment within him. Mimadrego is hamayla hamitis. That's the answer to your question. To acquire the true advantage, v'hasoras, and to take away echad minyane hachoyshet v'hachesrei nois. So we are trying to become a better person. Ah yidei poel hamitzvos esay ahi. Oh hamaniya min alos esay. So what we do, what we don't do, how we choose, what we actually, what actually happens in our day, um, cre creates within us a better person or an, a worser person. Um, let, let me, let me. This is, by the way, I don't know if you, you're hopping the chiddush of this. Poshut shot is that you do mitzvahs. Um, you know, it's like. Uh, let me give you two mishalom. The simple bashul is uh, a child listens to his parents. Do your homework. Does his homework. Right? Now, there's two things over here. There's a mitzvah of keep it of aim. You listen, to your, you listen to your dad, right? You did your homework. Nice. Wonderful. You listen to your teachers. Good boy. Wonderful thing. There's another thing that's going on over here is that now that you've done your homework, you're better, you're, you're, you're more educated. So there's two things that happen when the child does his homework. And just same thing is with every mitzvah. That there is, when a person does a mitzvah, so you're, you're getting a schar, you listen to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Even if this makes no sense, even if this would do nothing for us, it would do nothing for us, nevertheless, even if it makes no sense, and you, Hashem would tell us that it does nothing for us. This is going to do nothing for you. I just want, I just want you to know, I just want you to do a mitzvah. So even so, there would be a, a, a concept of listening to Hashem. Take the other side of that. Let's say... I don't care if Hashem told me or not. I, have no, I don't even believe in Hashem. But this is a good thing to do. It's a good thing to give charity, yes? Like, uh, uh, do, do atheists give charity? Probably. Right? So, so why are they giving charity? The answer is, it's a good thing to do. It's a nice thing to do. It's a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. So that's a different story. That that's, you, you don't get the part of, give, of, of listening to Hashem, but you do get the part of what the Ramchal is speaking over here at L'Chorah, you do get the part of building yourself or building your character. That's the word, character. Building your character. You buy this? Meaning there's two dinim in every, in every mitzvah. One mitzvah is the listening to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and the other one is the character building. How do you know that the, the second one isn't infused by the first it one? It may be. It may be. But there's <laughs> so two things. If you don't have the first one, maybe the second one is Is it giving tzedakah? Did it help somebody? Yeah, but doesn't you put somebody on their feet? It may, doesn't mean it's connected one year of a of varent. I think it is. Why? I mean, logic says it is. Why not? Why? Because because it could be through the ruchnius that it's connected to your. Okay, so let's see where we go with this. You're sharp, you're sharp today, Rabbi. <laughs> because again, you're 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 right on you're right on the edge of this. Um, let, let's just uh, by the the second muscle other than kid doing homework is just it's always in my mind is um, the famous uh, statement of Michelangelo. He said that he makes a, you know, somebody said to him, how do you come up with such beautiful, beautiful sculptures out of a piece of stone? And he said that, I see the stone, I see the sculpture, I see the sculpture. Now I just have to knock away the bad parts. You know? uh, it's, a, it's there, it's a leak there. That was his artistic eye. There was a, a person, you know, there's so many, there's so many models for that. You know, uh, I, I'm saying Michelangelo, but there's so many models for the fact that a person, a person comes in sort of raw <laughs> into this world, and now you, you know you sculpt away, and when you do a mitzvah, you've added something beautiful to this to this sculpture called called man, and when you've done something bad, boom, you knocked off his nose, 
you know, and now what happens when you do tshuva? So interesting. <laughs> what happens when you do tshuva? You put the nose back. So that that. that regarding the stone. Hmm? Regarding the stone. Crazy glue. Crazy glue, or you have to rethink now. Um, you have to rethink what what am I making? Like mm -hmm. you've, you've created what you're saying. You created a different stone now, so I have to I have to re reboot. So this so is the work said about character building. Is that I mean maybe that's a thing as averes nasim kuzchuyos that it those averes turn into what's building your character. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. maybe. So um, hine, ma'isa hamitzvahs, the ma'isa mitzvahs. You with me, Darren? Ma'isa mitzvahs hine tachlus by la adam sheyaseyu. The reason why we do mitzvahs mavor is clear. Shu lekayim mitzvahs bayroi v'lasayis. This is still a quote from the Ramchal, by the way. The, the, the reason we do mitzvahs is to fulfill the mitzvahs of our Creator and to do His ratzim. I am doing the ratzim Hashem. Ask me why are you putting on tefillin? Hashem wants me to put on tefillin. But He's doing so in two ways. He's fulfilling two things that are Hashem wants. Just like he's fulfilling two things that Hashem wants. Just like Kivyachal, the father tells the son to do the homework. You're doing two things. One is I'm so appreciative that you listen to me. Second, is you're doing your homework. Nimshachim zemizeh, and this is for you. Nimshachim zemizeh, they're intertwined. Behindu, who makayim cheftsay b'mash tzivah. I'm doing Hashem's rotsin and listening to His commandments. She asks, "How may so who who I say you?" Hashem wants me to do it, and I'm doing it. Kashen is, but the second thing is ki hinei b'maisa azel mishtalim ba'achas mi madregas hashleimos. But by doing so, I've also built my own shlemus, my own character. Which is also what Hashem wants. Which is also what Hashem wants. Two things Hashem wants. She, he told us ha-mitzvah he, told us ha-mitzvah he. Mehinei miskayim chefsa yisbarak shmai shuhu chafetz, that's also, as you say, a fulfillment of Hashem's ratzon. Ki b'chol mitzvah, and again, I'm still reading the Ramchal, chol mitzvah yeshnan shnei dvarim, because every single mitzvah has two parts to it, Toelos v'tikon hanasa ve'a mitzvah. You see, we see it so clearly with a mitzvah like tzedakah or a mitzvah like kibbutz avayim or something like that. But you don't see it so clearly with tefillin. What did that do for me exactly? So one thing is toelos v'tikon hanasa ve'a mitzvah. Asher b'shvil zatziva hakadosh baruch hu lasoi soi. First of all, there is what I'm, the, what I'm growing from the mitzvah, and that's the purpose of the mitzvah. Here's a chiddush. There is a reason for every mitzvah. That's why the Rambam, this is what the Rav, the Rav, the Rav means the Rambam and the Ramchal's words. That's what the Rav says in Sefer on Mitzvah. The Rambam is strong in this. The Homer Nebuchim is to explain what, what, what comes to a person by doing a mitzvah. You see, let me, let me take a... a a break here to explain this. The, the, there's a stira, real, really, in the Rambam and a stira in Chazal, because the, the um, Chazal say that if you do, let's say, the mitzvah of Shiloh HaKan, and you say, why am I sending away the mother? Because it's, it's so achzorious to take the children away when the mother's looking. So Meshach Kenosa, the Mishnah says, in Baruch is Meshach Kenosa, we don't let people talk that way. Ki enon ela, uh, Hashem said to do it, that's why you're doing it. Drain the shkika, right? On the other hand, says the Rambam, the Rambam brings that while Allah. On the other hand, says the Rambam in Mar Nevochim, that from here you see, from the mitzvah Shiloh Khan, you see how, how much mercy Hashem wants us to have. How much He wants us to have Rahmanas even on a bird. How the mitzvah of Tzar Balechayim, which incidentally doesn't say anywhere in the Torah is a mitzvah, how that's a part of the whole of the whole Yiddishkeit, to have Racham of Al-Komasa. So what's he saying that for? Meshat Kedoy say we should tell the Rambam to stop talking. Why is he saying that? So the answer is that there's two dinim. When it comes to why are we doing the mitzvah, we're not doing the mitzvah because of the Tam. We're doing the mitzvah because of Shedem el Hashem said to do the mitzvah, we're doing the mitzvah. That's the correct way to do a mitzvah. But you should know that there is a Tam. There is a Tom, and the Tom is doing something for our Rachamim. I, I heard once, uh, I used to go to a shir, Rav Gifter, all of a shalom, in Minchas Chinuch. So he, he, when he first when he came to Eretz Yisrael for a while, 
So um, he, he said that uh, Tam HaMitzvahs, Tam HaMitzvahs, can mean the reason for the mitzvahs, it also gives the mitzvahs Tam. <laughs> taste. Taste, like it, it gives the mitzvahs Tam, meaning like it's so much nicer to do a mitzvah when you know that it's actually building me up, right? So you do exercise, it's, it, not only are you keeping to your regimen and you're listening to your instructor and you're making your wife happy and all that kind of stuff, but chutz um, mizeh, you're, you're building yourself up, you're a better person, you're a stronger person. So mavur, so, so, so that's what the Ramban, Ramban says in Mitzvah Shiloh HaKan. And that's what the Rambam says in Mitzvah Shiloh HaKan. There's two of them. Sheish Lam Tam. Mivur o ma'od ki b'chol echad tam v'tayelas v'tikon la'adam. Milvad scharan. O bishvil zeh, says Rabbi Hanan, ha yuray lasis ha-mitzvah. Now, here's where it gets, it gets to be fun. Bishvil zeh, according to this, ha yuray lasis ha-mitzvah afiloi netztavino alayhan. If, if, if Hashem never asked you to do a mitzvah, you just know about it. What's an example of Hashem never asked you to do a mitzvah? A goy. Or Kodamat and Torah. Avos. Nobody asked them to do mitzvahs. Kodamat and Torah. There was no tzivui. So they were ain't a mitzvah of A mitzvah without Benavikdash. What we doing now? A lot of the stuff that we do. Yeah. 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 So now the Avos kept the Torah even before there was a Tzivui. Why? Because in their Ruach HaKodesh, Hevinu Hatayelas Vatikon Mizeh. It was Avram Avinu understood implicitly that by doing Hachnasus Archim, I am becoming a greater person. He understood that, even though there was no mitzvah of Achnas Hazarachim, and according to Chazal, kept all Tariyag mitzvahs. A few little Erev Tavshil, kept kosher. At Kedai Kachtos, the Gemara asks the question, like, how did he serve the Malachim? Milk, 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 milk and meat? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, the so question the, is on them, not him. Hmm? The question is on them, not That's him. the Tariyag. <laughs> That's the Tariyag, but he's still not allowed to serve. We've neighbor. He's still a neighbor. But so, so they were Malachim. But they... So, so why why did they do it? They did it. Why did the others keep the Torah? Because not because they were keeping the tzivoy of Hashem. Because there was no tzivoy of Hashem. <coughs> the reason they kept the Torah is because they understood the tikkun v'toelas shiva. Very important. Yeah, how tikkun v'toelas is better because God Is it is it like that? Amen. Amen. I want to tell you something about. The God Allah Mitzvah voice and Mashiach no Mitzvah voice. So Rashi says, why, why would that be? You would think, if I'm getting paid to do a job, I get less scar than I'm doing as a volunteer. So why is God Allah Mitzvah voice and Mashiach no Mitzvah voice? So Rashi says, the shot is that if you're Mitzvah voice, you do it better. Uh, you know, everyone knows that a volunteer doesn't work like a paid worker. So in terms of doing the Mitzvah, you're doing it, you're doing it better. Lefidus Ramchal, you can say a different shot. Godolam Mitzuva Vaisa and Shaina Mitzuva Vaisa. Because Aina Mitzuva Vaisa is only getting the schar for the tikkun that he's getting. A Mitzuva Vaisa is getting the schar for both the tikkun and listening to the tzivoy of Akharish Baruch. So, so when, when you think about the Avos, it's not a chasar. The Avos were Aino Mitzuva, no Mitzva, Vaisa. But they did the Mitzvahs. We are Mitzvah Ba'osa. So why is it Gadol? Are we bigger than Avraham Avinu? Yes. Because we, ha we have the Tikkun that Avraham Avinu had with, the, with our Achnas Hazarach. And plus, we're also listening to HaKadosh Baruch. So it's a whole new pshat in, in Mitzvah Ba'osa. So does Rashi think of that as a question only on the second part? Like, like why would he leave out the Tzivoy unless he's just evaluating the, the effect of the Mitzvah? It's not that he's leaving out the Tzivoy. Like, women do Mitzvahs that they don't have to do. So she's ain't a mitzvah so, she's not so a woman putting on tefillin is not as valuable as a man putting on tefillin because nobody asked her to put on tefillin. But, but does it have any value at all? Of course it does. That's the chiddush. Of course it does. She's putting on tefillin. She's being masakin in her guf She's not mitzvah. It's also mitzvah nefesh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get to be good in and all kinds of things. 
וכן באווירה יש לנו שני עניינים, there's also two parts to an avera, היינו הטעם אשר בשבילו היא הוזהרנו, זה עניין ודאי אווירה, there's the reason, the טעם, which we are commanded not to do, שלא לעשוי סמייסה היא, ובשביל זה היה רואה למנוע אם לעשוי סמייסה אפילו ולא יעזור. If treif is bad for you, then treif is bad for you. So uh, whether there's a mitzvah or not, we should stay away from treif. See, it's so, it's so um, this is such a chidush in my, um, you know, a person, God forbid, is sick, so you have to eat on Yom Kippur. So is the food mazik or it's not mazik? You have to eat chazer. Pikoach nefesh, you have to eat chazer. So I'm not over on any tzivoy. Of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. In fact, I would be over on Sifu of a Kodesh Baruch Hu if I wouldn't eat the Chazer. But is it is it is it bad for you or not? Does does the, the physical component still does the Chazer the turn down to a cow? No, I'm <clears throat> physical, but uh, you know, if if it's bad, it's bad. L'chora. Why you can have butel the roof and then, and then it's no, no longer cause... it's no longer considered trade. So butel the roof. But I'm talking about if you eat a piece of. Chazer. Yeah, but the, yeah, it could be one of those pieces is chazer. You don't know, but it's yeah, a bottle of isn't that like bottle of It's like it doesn't exist anymore. I don't know. Maybe it's, that's, it's a right. big, that's a big that's a big lumdish. If it's rotzen Hashem in this circumstance, then why doesn't it? Yeah. Is it a din or is it a mitzvah? No, so, <coughs> so you're taking care of the rotzen Hashem. That doesn't change the. Uh, but, it, it does change. but this is a chetz of the rotzen Hashem. Right. Yeah, you eat a piece of cherry. There, there's a famous story, maybe with the barditchiver. I think. Uh, Sounds right. <laughs> that the, the, that they, they, uh, he, he told a certain woman she has to eat on Yom Kippur, an uh, old lady. She has to eat on Yom Kippur, and she didn't want to eat on Yom Kippur. Um, you know, it's a funny thing how that's changed over the years, because today everyone's <laughs> calling and everyone, want to eat on, everyone wants to eat on Yom Kippur. <laughs> I, you talk to, you, you, you know, you, if you're a rabbi for, like, old people, you need to beg them, you need to force feed them to eat on Yom Kippur, even if they're going to die. It's just like so, something has changed over the, uh, over the years. Everyone's all going to eat it. It's a sheer, it's a sheer. End uh, of days. Uh, something's different. Something changed. I don't know. I'm not sure. That's out of the scope of this conversation. But uh, the story, the story of the Bardit Shiver, as he told the woman she's on Yom Kippur, that she wouldn't eat. So, um, so she said to the Bardit Shiver, um, she wants to, um, should she make a bracha? On the, on the on on Yom Kippur, should she make a bracha on the Chazer? As it was, I think it was. Should I make a bracha on the Chazer? So the door just okay. Make a bracha on the Chazer. <laughs> just eat it, you know. So um, then they came and they asked her after like four or five times going. Back, she says, um, "Can we shecht the Chazer? Well, let's at least do that. Let's do shechita on the Chazer." So the Barditchiver said, "I can't say that the Chazer is a cow." <laughs> you know. Uh, which is actually a, a deep story. I mean, like sometimes you have to do something, but you can't say that you're you, to say that you're eating kosher. You're not eating kosher. Like that's the so yesh lachkar. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Actually, I spoke about it once. I think I'm Shabbos Shuvah. What do, does the Tim Tum Alev still happen or doesn't it happen? The the point being this. The point being that there. Are, the, the main point being that when you do when you're over in Avera, there's two things that happen. Atama sher bishvilano who's arner shloi lasa is a maisa you bishulzal you roilim noy malasa a maisa filo belay hazara. We should step, stay away from that even if we're Now that we have a command, we have two parts to it. So, um, I, I, just take a minute here. I want to I show you something. The, the, the Rambam famously says, I just want to make a deal here in the Rambam. The Rambam in Hilchus Malachim famously says, Talks about here the Sheva Mitzvah Bnei Noach. This is in Paraches Halach Yud Aleph. Kol Hamakabel Sheva Mitzvah Benizer La Soisan. Any non-Jew who is makabel on himself to do the seven mitzvahs Bnei Noach. Who knows the seven mitzvahs Bnei Noach? You don't have to know. You're not a Bnei Noach. <laughs> <laughs> Aleph, Beis, Gimel, Dalit, and the three big ones. Aver, Minachai, Birchus Hashem, that means to curse Hashem. Gezel. Dinim, is you have to set up courts, and then the three biggies. So those are the seven mitzvahs of Noach. 
minimal requirement for every guy. So call him Makabel Shema Mitzvah Zneinach. He's Makabel. Not he does it. He's Makabel Shema Mitzvah Zneinach. Nizar. Two things. First of all, it's Makabel and he's Nizar. Because it's Yvash Shem. Nizar. Makabel. It's Makabel for something, right? Hareze mi chasidei uma yisa oilam v'yesh loy chelek loilam haba. Okay, chasidei, we give the guy a name. He's called chasidei uma yisa oilam. V'hu sheyikabu leisan v'yasan oisa mi b'nei shetziva b'hen ha-kadosh baruch. When is this talking only if he was makabal the mitzvah? Shem mitzvah they know of because Hashem said it. However, not only did Hashem say it, how do I know about these Shem Mitzvahs they know? Because I believe in Moses. <laughs> now, now, he's B'nai Noach. Shem'nei Noach, Mikodem, Nitztavu Behem. Moshe Rabbeinu told him, us that all the B'nai Noach did that. Avol, so then he's a chassid, he's a chassid, Avol, says the Rambam, however, im osan mipnei hechra hadas, if he does it because he thinks this is a good thing to do, ein ze ger toishov, ein, meaning if you are makabal to Shem Mitzvah Znei Noach, and you do it because Hashem said to, and you did it because Moshe Rabbeinu was mitzdave, you're a ger toishov, and chassid is chassid umos ha'elam, but this guy, Einoi ger toishov ve'einoi mechasidei umoi sa'olam elo michachomehem. What a great Rambam. <laughs> elo michachomehem. Because everybody quotes the Rambam that I've heard and they say, valueless. <coughs> no value. You're doing the Shem Mitzvah saying, no. The, 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 almost every country in the world, every civilized country in the world sets up dinim. They're Makai, one of the seven mitzvahs from Noach. They have courts, fair courts, right? United States of America, England, Australia, Western civilization sets up fair courts. So they're Makayim, the seven mitzvahs from Noach. But if they don't get up in front and, and, and swear on the Bible that they're doing this because God said to do it, so then it's garnish mit garnish. That's what everybody says. Says Rambam, no. And a chanami, you're not mechasidayu masoilom, but you're a chacham. You know what it says in the Magid Mishnah? And if you see this person, you should make a bracha shenosan mechach mechach masay lebaser Who said that? Magid Mishnah. You make a bracha on the person. Wow! You came to these seven mitzvahs all by yourself. <laughs> it's a genius. How, how did you, you, you? Okay, you don't do gilei arayis. You, you wonder, like um, gilei arayis. So I mean, there's an incest law in, in many countries in America. Not a lot of married sister. I don't think. So, so there's an incest law. You can marry your brother, but you can't marry your sister. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the, what's the, like, how did they come to this? I don't know. I don't know how they came to this. Like, was it unhealthy, or is it early Christians? I don't know. I don't know where. It, it comes, comes from the Bible. Judeo, it comes what? From, yeah. It comes from Judeo-Christian. Judeo-Christian tradition. Okay. So they, they pick and choose. Can you yeah. Right. So, um, Avodah Zarah. I don't know. I don't know what they think about Abu Dzar. They probably hold like Ramadan. Tom, the Christianity is not Abu Dzar. There's a freedom of religion in America. But in God we trust. In God we trust. Okay. So so, but but, if if they do it, if they've come to this completely on their own, so says the Rambam. You're not mechasidus umosayilum. Everybody quotes, but you are a chacham. Nobody quotes. What's the pshat? The pshat is that a mitzvah has two chalakim to it. There's a chalik of listening to Hashem. This is according to this Ramchal. This Rambam makes, makes just perfect sense. There's a chalik of a mitzvah for a guy also, of listening to Hashem. And there's a chalik of a mitzvah of the toelis, of the mitzvah. So some guy comes to the conclusion that there's a toelis here. So what is he called? He's called an enoi mitzvah v'oisa. An enoi mitzvah v'oisa is a chacham. It comes out according to this Rambam, if I, if I may, that Avram Avinu was a chacham. <coughs> He wasn't Hasidio Masalim, there was no Jews. So he wasn't Israel. Um, he was Umazalam, but he was Miyuchad. He stood out in the world as a Chacham. And that's what the Rambam says in the Zakdamat of Vishnu Tiger. He says, Ad Shaba Chacham Zeh, Eitan Zeh. He was a mighty Chacham. Chacham Haraz, that's what the Rambam calls him. He was a great Chacham before there was a Tzivoy. Once he got the Tzivoy of Mila, he became a Chasim. 
So that we have to make a distinction, says the Rambam, the way I'm reading it, between a Chacham and a Chassid. A Chassid is getting two Toelas. And one is the, the Etzem Maisa, Toelas of the Maisa, and that he's listening to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Chacham, we don't push him away. We say, okay, that's good. So in other words, if there, is it good to talk an atheist into doing Shem Mitzvah's name? Oh, of course. That's good. He's, do, he's, he's doing, he's doing Shem Mitzvah's name. Oh, let me ask you a question before we end. What about a Jew? A Jew does a mitzvah, Shalom B'Kavon, Shalom L'Shma. I don't believe in any of this. I, I, you know, I, I, uh, when, I, when I first got married, I lived in a non from neighborhood completely. So there's, there's uh, you know, Israelis tend, at least then, I think, now also, tend to fast on Yom Kippur. The trip still probably, you know, they fast on Yom Kippur, even Chilonim fast on Yom Kippur. So, so uh, there, there's this guy who was like a, a like serious Chiloni. I mean, you know, like, it was, just, like, it was like a really, uh, uh, yeah, a brisker Chiloni. Like, like, so uh, so I, I remember walking outside on Yom Kippur morning, my kid told my talus, and he's standing there on the street, and uh, he wasn't smoking like he usually was, and he was just standing there, and he wasn't doing his garden like he usually does. So I told him, it's a katatzam, how you? I just asked him, you know, but uh, Yom Kippur. So, so Yom Kippur, you know, so I, so I said to him, I'm a lot of you know, I just uh, was chepping him on Yom Kippur, great thing to do. Right? <laughs> 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 he says, ma, he tells me, pam achat b'shala, bari, bari, lo ma'ashen, lo ochel, lo shoteh, lo guf menucha, like, you know, he's got, he's got it all figured out. Like, yeah, it's got, it's bari, so, okay. So, yeah. so is this shtus? Or not. So, I mean, did, was he bechaved to the Pshat Yom Kippur? Probably not. But is there a toelus from it? Probably yes. There's still a toelus of a Jew fasting on Yom Kippur. And, and the truth of the matter is, let's say he's a Mitzvah Va'osa, but he's, here's a new case of he's not doing it with Bnei Shetziva, unless he was deep, deep in his heart. He's not doing it with Bnei Shetziva, but he's Osa. So he's a little bit like an Eino Mitzvah Va'osa plus there probably is something in his heart that's saying, don't eat, don't eat on Yom Kippur. So what is Seichel Machayim? The Seichel is Machayim. Well, he had to make it up. But for the Goyim also, the Seichel is Machayim. I mean, that's something. Right. Seichel is Machayim, that one day you should not pay attention to yourself. Don't be self-centered. Don't, don't think about yourself. Think about others. Valentine's Day. What is that? <laughs> like, like, it's not, it's not, it's, it's, um, you see, so, so let me end with this, with this, this is so extremely important. We still haven't finished Rebbe Khan, and I want to finish it, how he answers the Masil Zishar. You could already imagine what, where he's going with this. But the Ramchal he brings, he brings out is, is just so, is so beautiful. A Jew that does a mitzvah with kavana, here's the sikum. A Jew that does a mitzvah with kavana is makayim two things. The, the tzivoy Hashem and the toel is a mitzvah. A Jew that does a, a, a mitzvah shalom b'kavana, b'chlal, just like, you know, like a reconstructionist for Mechila. So, uh, like a lot of them are keeping kosher and keeping Shabbat and going to temple. Um, and they say it's nice, achtut, you know, culture, Jewish Judaism, God, God. So I, I, I once ended up in a temple where they did everything except they didn't have an Aaron Kodesh and believe. <laughs> No Aaron Kodesh. Like, they, wow. they didn't believe in the Aaron Kodesh. <coughs> Ever see such a thing? I, I saw. What were you doing? Was the Chacham? Together as Jews, Jewish community, just like the Italians have to have a community. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, a, it's a good thing. That's, a club. that's what? A club. A, a club. club. I, I think they hit, there's Rishus. You're allowed to believe if you want to, but it's not a Chiyuf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, what is it? Is it, is it, is it is it wrong? Should we close them down? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not a, I'm not a guttle. But there's a toelas because sof kol sof, they're doing good things. They're giving charity together. They're praying to. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know who they. I don't even know who they pray together. I don't know who they're praying to. They they, they pray in a circle. Um, I'm not sure what it means, but it's like you know something you're doing for yourself, I guess. But I, I don't know. I don't know how that. Uh, maybe the blue energy karma. I don't. I don't know what the. What the it's very, very, you know, if you think Gemara is difficult logic, I'm trying to get it to their logic. It's like, <laughs> you have to have like a Gemara cup plus, you know, to, to really understand what they're, I, don't, I, I tried for years to try to understand it. So, so but a, a Jew that does a mitzvah shaloi b'kavana, um, it has a toelas, even though it doesn't have two toelios. I, I want to make one last distinction. If you daven without kavana, 
I think you're doing nothing. Because there's no, you're not dominating. There's no toelis, you're not, you're not just dominating, you're blah, 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 right? I think you're doing nothing. You're not doing not the tzivoy Hashem, and you're not, you're not saying where, you're not thinking about what you're saying. So on the, on, if, if, if somebody is like us, and they go to Davin because, I think this is true, they go to Davin because Hashem said you should go to Davin, and that's why we get up in the morning and we, because we, 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 we go to Davin. So even if we don't Davin with Kavano, we're not getting the toelis of the Davening, but we are doing the mitzvah Hashem. Lachar. So it's hmm? you have kavana for one second. So there's a minimum kavana of I'm, I'm, I'm going to serve Hashem. So that should be our minimal kavana. So that's something. Um, a person, so a person has the tzivoy, doesn't have the kavana. A person would have the kavana of praying without the tzivoy. I don't think it means anything because even if you have kavana without believing, what are you, what are you doing? You're not, you're not praying. I don't know what that is. But, um, but to not. To daven, to daven without kavana is not bechlal a ma'isa mitzvah. It might be schar alicha, might be the one second of davening. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a difference between that and a mitzvah. If I'm giving to daven, there's a toelis. I'm helping somebody out. Kavana, no kavana. A believer, atheist, I'm helping somebody out. There's, there's at least a toelis of a mitzvah. If I'm thinking Hashem, so not only is a toelis of a mitzvah, I'm also listening to Hashem. Two things. So, so if you break down our two categories that way, and everything has its kavana, which is the, the, the two kavanas, so now you have to figure out what each one is accomplishing for the person who's doing it, and what we're accomplishing as Jews, when we do a mitzvah with kavana, without kavana, and what our kavana should be. Our kavana is two things, always says the Rebbe to worship Hashem, and the toelos Shabbat. Is, is, is Simcha and Avas Hashem included in that kavana, or is it they're separate and higher? Maybe higher. <coughs> if a person regrets mitzvahs that they've done. So, uh, what are they regretting? The kavana? Or what, in other words, what, what's getting damaged now? You built this thing your whole life. You, you, built, you built a philanthropic organization. You gave out $10 million. You've helped thousands of people. Now I regret it. Should have taken the money for myself. So, so you regret it. Toa ala rishodos. What are you damaging now? Which part of the building have you, have you, have you uh, demolished? If you demolish the kavana part of it or the mice part of it, you can't. Well, you can't demolish the mice. Just give it up. Just give it up. People are out. And and whatever character growth came from that, probably he has. Even tefila, like even things with like they're saying, if tefila wasn't with kavana, then it's no tefila. So if he regret, does that take away the? Tefila? I think so. That takes it away completely. But something which has a toelis in it, clearly. A clear toelis. I say, a person, you know, I, I always say when I was in the cure world, um, it's so much easier to be makar of a vegetarian than it is to, uh, to be makar of a carnivore. There's no question. I mean, they, they, they don't have all the timtim malay, but it's so easier to, so much easier to talk to them. They're makabal every, you know, they, they, their, their minds are refined. It's the, no question, no trait in this person system. You can't say that with, if you're talking to, you know, you can't say that with necessarily a from Jew. But there's no trait for this person's system. But based on, what we, bugs, learned, based bugs. on what we learned in Nefesh Ha'ayim, the Dibor of the Tvila could that was done at the time of Kavana, so then it, it could changed, be can't world, go back and changed worlds. I, and, you changed the worlds. So therefore, regret wouldn't... You mean, so you davened with Kavana, and now I regret that I davened with Kavana. So but the Dibor did all these right. changes in Shemayim. Right. No. So I just, I just, just I want to leave you with this. That, that Tohe al Harishonais what you what over there? What you have is the akiras harotzayin. Is akiras the akiras ha, harotzayin, right? Like tshuva, you did backward tshuva. So I am ma'aker. I'm sorry, I did it. Regret. So that's akiras harotzayin. Is that akiras ha'maisa? It's it's ma'aker, the part of the ma'isa. Says Rabbi Hanan, he's going to say it's ma'aker, the part of the ma'isa. Which had to do with the tzivoy Hashem, but it's not ma'akir the part of the ma'isa maybe, which changed the person within. Mm -hmm. So and that's where that's the last part of Rabbi Hanan that we need to get to. A very mm -hmm. very uh, important point. Let's we, we'll learn it inside. So if someone did a pork before a mutton tara, and they're still being damaged, but there's, there's no person today.
They, they ate pork before my mother. Is there a treat? It, it could be that Sevoy, I mean, could be a thing. What? That, that the it big could big be there's a long distance thing that there was no Tim to Malay. Like, before. could be Goyim don't have Tim to Malay. I, I thought I lived at, uh, at uh, that many uh, Kaddish Baruch Hu, uh, 